it meant Weatherspoons had no steak or gammon for the chain's popular Tuesday steak night. A spokesman for the Jamie Oliver Group said its restaurants had been able to source replacement meat, so the move did not result in shortages for diners. Russell Hume describes itself as one of the UK's leading meat specialists providing quality and distinction. Its turnover was pounds 129 million in 2015. But yesterday, the company, which employs 400 workers at seven sites across the UK, appeared to have gone into shutdown. Its website went offline, and the firm refused to respond to basic requests for information. Chairman, David Holding was not available. A woman at a £750,000 gated house on a private road in Derby shouted no and slammed the door when approached for comment. Last night Green King, the UK's largest pub retailer, said, We only take a handful of products from Russell Hume and have contingency plans in place which means we can continue to serve our customers as normal. The FSA said in a statement yesterday that there is no indication that people have become ill from eating meat supplied by Russell Hume. It added, however, we are concerned about the poor practices in place at their premises, so that is why we have taken proportionate action to ensure no meat can leave their sites at present. We are continuing to assess the situation. Distribution of meat from Russell Hume is to a range of outlets, including hospitality and catering businesses, and care homes and schools. All unused meat supplied by Russell Hume has been withdrawn from the businesses that they supply until they can provide assurances. <laughs>